Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pro Industry Interviews. And I am so thrilled to be here with Denise Fuller. And Denise is actually, I would say, Denise, you're one of the pioneers of our industry, or you have been around for a long time. I have known you for a long time as well. And you've just been really kind of a, you know, a cornerstone, I would say, in our industry. Um, my goodness. And I'm thrilled that you're here because you're in Pennsylvania, right? Yes. Yes. Today I'm in Pennsylvania. I bebop between Pennsylvania and Florida, but uh, today we're here in Pennsylvania. And thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And yes, we've known each other, but it's great when you start out in the industry at age 12, right? Absolutely. And here we are, you know, in our mid forties. <laughs> exactly. A little younger than I am, but hey, what the heck? <laughs> um, I don't know. I actually just turned 50 this year. Oh, well, yes, you are a little younger than me. So good for oh. you. <laughs> uh, well, Denise, thank you so much for being here. And I want to give you a proper introduction. For those of you that don't know Denise, uh, she's actually the the, the president and founder of NASN Pro. And I'm gonna have her explain about that because that is one of the uh, wonderful associations in the skincare makeup industry. And um, she is a beauty veteran with over 30 years of experience. She's a licensed esthetician and nail technician. She holds certifications in herbalism, lymphatic drainage and naturopathy. And she is an international trained beauty therapist, an author, a published author, and the founder of Nassen Pro. So I love this. Her ferocious love and passion for skin, spa, and beauty prompted her to create the National Aesthetics Spa Network in 2012. And she has over 35,000 members internationally, right? Yes. So, yes. Wow. So you've been busy. We have. And actually, it was um, we started the organization in 2004. So oh, okay. we, so we have been around for 17 years and it started out with just 12 estheticians getting together and over water bottles and granola bars over in um, Daytona Beach, Florida at Mesveril's uh, Cosmetology School. And, you know, we didn't really quite know who we were getting into. I'm so thrilled. I am so sorry. Excuse me one second here. There we go. I was trying to get us up on Facebook. <laughs> we're good. Awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you know oh, what? Hold on, Denise. I am so sorry. Wait a minute. One second. One second. Uh, can I, can you hear me now? I can. Okay. Perfect. I'm so sorry. Yes. No, you're fine. I was just saying that we started in 2004 with 12 estheticians. We had granola bars and water bottles. And the idea was just to come together and collaborate, support each other. And from there, it just very grassroots grew to other estheticians and spa owners calling me from other states saying, can we join you? And I was like, well, of course you can. Why couldn't you? Well, at the time, our name was the Florida Aesthetic Network. So we changed the name to make it a little bit more national friendly. And I was very fortunate. I had a lot of support and assistance from the iconic Janet McCormick, who has been in the industry, I think, for almost like 40 years, a little bit more than us. But she was like, Denise, go ahead, do it. You know, and she's like, I will support you and I will help you. So she really became one of the other founding members, founding uh, founders that helped kind of launch this. But from 2005, I really was the one that continued those day-to-day -day operations and asking questions. And, you know, again, it grew from 12 estheticians, just kind of a gathering to now we have over 31,000 spa professionals, mm -hmm. skin enthusiasts, wellness providers, cosmetologists, plastic surgeons, chiropractors. I mean, when I go through our list, I'm like, wow, really a plastic surgeon has, has become a member, but they do. So it really goes to show 
how much we do as makeup artists, beauty therapists. Um, we reach so many different consumers and also professionals besides just what is in what we think is aesthetics. Yes, yes. And I have to say, so for, for those of you that are just hopping on, I'm Leslie Kristen. I'm the president and, and founder of Cara Cosmetics. I'm a lifetime film and television makeup artist. And I met Denise, I want to say early on when I started Cara Cosmetics, when I founded and started selling to salons and spas through the industry. And I think you and I met at one of the shows. I couldn't tell you which one it was, but I do remember um, at one of the aesthetic shows that a group of us kind of got together. We went back to your hotel room and we were doing all these cool facials and things and having some wine. And that was kind of like our, our post party. <laughs> yes, I think that probably was um, the Orlando show way back in the day. It could when, be. Mag when Magda owned it, it was at the, um, Oh, what's the beautiful hotel there? Uh, the Gaylord Palms. Okay. I, think, I believe that was the one. And we had like an after, like you said, a post um, after party. It was a let's get naked party. And we all were doing massages and foot treatments and clay therapies. And we just had a great time. It was so much fun. Yeah. Um, and you're right. That catapulted us from knowing each other and supporting each other. And then when I became the editor-in-chief of a magazine. I would call on you to write articles and just, you know, because your expertise is that movie and movie makeup and all things that just are beautiful. So, um, and you have a great line. Thank so you. It's, it's been a pleasure to see your journey and watch you grow your company and develop it over the years. Thank you. Yes, we are, we are all, I think for those of us that now, you know, again, here we are 30 years later in the industry. I've pretty much spent my whole life as a makeup artist in this industry. I've not been in any other industry, so to speak of, and still loving it today and, and giving back, whether it's with education. Um, oh my gosh, I just, in, in one of the courses I taught last night, I had, uh, you know, a cancer survivor. So it's, there's so many different areas that our industry can, can touch people. And so that is the topic today of, um, you know, healing and balancing and, and boosting our immunity through the power of touch. And Denise, you are, uh, you know, you, you have so much education and I think you're a little bit like me that we kind of somewhat go to the woo woo side, but I don't think it's woo woo. I just think it's no. like, it's all energy. It's all good. And, um, and there is, there is such a need right now, especially having gone through COVID, um, this whole past year and a half now, I guess it's been. And, it's, you know, we're starting to take our masks off. People are getting vaccinated. Things are looking, uh, they're looking up. Are finally, I think across the country, we are not closed down anymore. Some states have had a really, really tough time. In Florida, thank goodness, it hasn't, you know, we've opened up a lot sooner than over on the West Coast. Um, but I've had clients that have popped through the door that said, oh my gosh, can we hug again? You know, like... <laughs> Like, are we allowed? Is it okay? Are you comfortable? So there's still this, you know, apprehension of where do we go from now? Yeah. And as I've been talking to owners and specialists, um, health providers, it's interesting because they're starting to see some almost post-COVID PTSD. Ah. Ah. And some of the symptoms that they're seeing is um, a hives, so whereas, you know, normally we would say, oh my gosh, you're having an allergic reaction and maybe you would go to see an allergist, you know, is it milk, is it gluten, is it this? It's not, it is stress hives that are starting to come out. Also, um, and it has nothing to do with the vaccine. Okay, so before, let, let me clarify that. It's, you know, not any symptoms of that. It is 
primarily, like I said, it's this post COVID PTSD that is literally affecting our body. So they're seeing it on all ages, um, clients that are having stomach aches, mm. hives. Um, they're also having a shortness of breath, which they're wondering, you know, maybe did, is that maybe they had COVID? Is that maybe a symptom? So that one is they're still watching to see if that is just, you know, a symptom of, you know, a PTSD or if that or if that is a symptom of COVID or vaccine. Right. Um, another symptom they're seeing is a loss of trust in others. Oh. So just like what you said, can I give you a hug? Am I not? And people don't realize that that trust factor, that comes from your spirit. And so that is internally, energetically affecting how you live and breathe each and every day. Mm -hmm. So going to a spa, getting back to massage, getting your nails done, getting your facial, that's important. Important for the very health of your spirit, body, and mind. Absolutely. And, you know, another thing I've seen is, you know, I've had several clients that have had shingles too. Yes. And so there, there have been, I mean, not to say that, you know, everyone is getting these type of things. No, they're not. No, no. But one thing that I do see, and actually I'm, I'm doing another Facebook live tomorrow is that we, um, a lot of people that have been working from home, you know, you've kind of spent a year with wearing a mask not probably putting on a whole lot of makeup, getting kind of, you know, a little complacent, maybe a little sloppy with, you know, and, and after a while you just start to maybe even not care a little bit. Yeah. So where it's going back is a lot of places now are, are okay. You're coming back to the office now. So right. August is going to be that month of, okay, I got to step it up a little bit. You know, we're getting more and more clients coming in. I need to revamp my makeup. Uh, some people even have, have um, you know, they, they haven't been wearing anything. It's been sitting in their, in their drawer in a bag for well, you know, a year and a half without using mm -hmm. stuff. So it, it, there's so many things that are going, that are going on. So for me, the way I look at it also with, you know, boosting, I guess, your, your immunity, um, healing, you know, balancing and all of that is, is really that self-care. So Denise, what are some of the things that you um, would like to share with, our audience um, on some things that people could do that, of course, they can come to us, but yeah. also that they can do at home as well. At home, absolutely. And I think you said a very important thing, boosting your immune system. I, the challenge with that boost is that it makes you feel like you have to go higher or you have to do something more. And really, we should be about balancing our immune system balancing so that it doesn't say like, oh, I got a little tickle. I better go get more vitamin C. You should be taking vitamin C each and every day. You should be maintaining drinking good water. Hydration is key. You know, don't have a good, oh, I did really well on Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you don't do so well. And so when we talk about boosting, it almost sets that again, an expectation. But if we bring it to just balance, and it makes a part of your each and every day walk, you'll do so much better. And we know that as estheticians, because what do we do? We don't just boost the skin with a chemical peel. We want to create balance on the skin so that we have a healthy skin biome. So it's the same thing, but for consumers to be able to do some things, because I know I wish I could take my massage therapist home, get a massage every night before bed, or have my esthetician give me a facial. That would be phenomenal. Yes. Maybe a little creepy, but you know, there are wonderful things that we can do at home. And first and foremost is I love working with stones. I love doing working with stones in my treatment room but also taking my stones and putting them in my bath. And actually I have some stones that I keep in my shower all the time, but there's some key stones that you can use. Um, and I have them right here. This is in a lovely shape as a heart, but I can also do some gua sha with it. So in a bath, the rose quartz is 
predominantly energetically for love. Well, if we haven't been giving hugs, what aren't we getting? We're not getting love. So give yourself some self-love during a bath. And also you can take a rose quartz and do some facial movements to increase your lymphatic circulation and also some uplifting of your skin. Or if you can't find this type of shape, there's always a traditional more like your circular rose quartz stone. Then I also have blue calcite, which I just recently found and it is, it almost looked like soap. Um, it's fairly he heavy, but it's blue calcite and it is great for anyone that has suffered loss of a loved one. Oh, which yeah. I know, And rose quartz is too. Rose quartz predominantly is for that heart chakra, but this actually could be called a widow stone. Mm. So it's great for grief. And I myself am a widow and I was like, wow, I wish I would have had this right when my husband passed away, but I've incorporated it now because sometimes as empaths, we feel so much. So we may pick up on other people's grief. And we just had a situation in Florida over in Surfside that I know, I mean, every time I turn the news on, I mean, I was shedding tears. This is my backyard. This is a horrific situation. So the blue calcite is a great stone to put in your bathtub, to put it by your um, nightstand. Um, again, it's great for those suffering any type of grief or loss. Yeah. And I've had a lot of clients lately, well, quite a few that have suffered loss over yeah. this past year. Some because of COVID, some just, you know, a lot of clients that have lost their husbands or fathers and yeah. Yeah. It, and it just, it amazes how many people become widows unexpectedly. So not because a loved one has uh, had cancer or sickness. I think that I just read a study, like over 389 people a day become widows unexpectedly. So again, that blue calcite, that's a great stone to work with, you know, and any of the stones, um, you can always put in your hand and give yourself a little hand massage too. But there is a great worry stone, or if you're feeling anxious, and I always call it a Labradoodle, and it is not your Labradoodle dog. It is a Labrador dite. And so, but it's a beautiful stone. Yes. And I will, you know, it kind of has just different colors and a depth in it. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter, who's uh, just graduated, she loves this stone and she calls this her worry stone or her when she's anxious, mm -hmm. that anxiety. So it's a really great stone. So I've given you three three stones that you can choose from, or you can put all three in a nice warm bath. You can include salt or clay because anything that's going to draw out in a bath for an additional detoxification is always going to, again, be great for your immune system. Um, having a cup of tea in the evening, making certain it doesn't have tannins or caffeine, something very calming to help your mind rest. Uh, journaling right before bedtime. So many people journal first thing in the morning. But if you journal at nighttime and just take a couple minutes for gratitude, you're literally putting your words, your thoughts, again, in your energy and putting them in a dream time space so that when you sleep, instead of watching the news and then trying to go to bed, what are you putting into your subconscious? Yeah. You're literally putting positive affirmations, energy into a space that in the next morning, you'll be surprised what you can manifest from that. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> Denise, this is amazing. And I hope that all of you will at least take one of these things and implement it tonight and try it out because there is so much going on in the world, on the planet, outside of the planet. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, there is just so much 
energy. I would say another thing is, uh, and and I'm and I'm kind of saddened because where I I usually go to the Kundalini Yoga Center, they've they've been closed, and it's this beautiful place. But but breath work, doing breath work before you go to bed also can just really um, detoxify and energetically, you know, cleanse so much too, because we're amped up and, and, but I love what you said, Denise, and, and my gosh, we could, you know, have so many different conversations with this, but, but kind of going back to, you know, our industry as well is, is that there's so much that I feel, especially, you know, here at Studio Cara, of course, for all of you that are estheticians that are in the industry as well. But, you know, not only do we do our job, but we also provide a, a space of healing and a space of comfort. Um, and it really is so important to, to have that self-care, to take care, you know, to go to someone that's professional to not only, you know, feel more beautiful, and it, you, we live for a long time now, so why not look as good as you can? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I think, you know, if anything, with COVID and all these Zoom calls, we suddenly started to see ourselves up close and personal on camera. And it was like, wait a minute, whoa, back it up. We need to get more serum or more microcurrent or something. I mean, even myself, I mean, I, I'm good about my self-care, but it's really hard for me to find an esthetician. I know lots of good estheticians, but in my own backyard that I'm going to. Fortunately, one of our members is about 20 minutes from us. And so, and I love what she does. And I'm like, okay, let go to town. Let's go to what she's done. Micro needling. We're setting up to do some microblading in the next couple of weeks for the eyebrows, which I've never had done because again, you really got to search out, ask questions when you go to a spa or salon. Make certain that it's going to be a good fit with that technician. Yeah. Make certain that those spa is going to have the same standards of cleanliness, of licensing. Don't go to someone who's doing something in their, you know, in their home, in their, you know, backyard. Make certain that all the, you know, they are properly zoned and you will find someone that's going to be, who's taken the steps and cared enough about their business. And that's going to be the follow through of what they do on your face and body. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. We have to support our industry. And um, we, this is not a hobby to us. This is, this is an actual profession and a legit business <laughs> and, uh, and yes. we do need to support it. So Denise, I would love for you to share how people and who can join NAS and Pro um, and how they can, you know, how they can learn more about you as well. Well, thank you. Uh, the National Aesthetic Spa Network is a complimentary membership. So what that means is there's no charge. There's no membership dues. There's no monthly fees. Wow. You can access this by going to nasimpro.com. So nasimpro.com, once you get into the site, you're able to get membership discounts, rewards, such as we have a phenomenal discount with the Office Depot, which gives discounts of printing of 80% off car discounts, hotel discounts, and also exclusive discounts to some of your favorite pro brands. We do not partner with a multi-level marketing, so you will not find companies that you're going to find at your big box retailers or online. Again, it's about supporting industry professionals, and that's who we work with. So again, make sure you're a member, nasampro.com. We do have some upcoming uh, educational conferences where our attendees will receive, um, it's approved by the um, NCEA, COA, and you'll get some continuing education. So if that's what you need for your licensing, you'll be able to um, receive that certification at, a at our Boston conference, which is upcoming on Monday, July 19th. So we have um, educators flying in from Seattle, California, and also um, Massachusetts 
to attend. I guess she's not flying in. She's probably going to just drive over. <laughs> but the topics that are in it are going to be such as Jim Harrison, who's a professor at Bastyr. He's talking about blue light, 5G, um, how it's going to affect, how that is affecting the skin and body. And then we have an Ayurvedic physician um, coming in from California. Um, Dr. Lakande, who is the uh, senior chemist at DMK, he's going to be speaking and we're going to be able to ask questions. And the idea was, can we stump the doctor on questions we have from the audience? So I've put it out there to the attendees, put your thinking cap on and let's do it. Um, every attendee will receive hand, a hand sanitizer from DMK because we still want to make certain that we do have a safe and sanitized conference. So there'll be that social distancing, box lunches. When you walk in, your hands are gonna be sprayed with hand sanitizer. The hotel, the Crown Plaza has extra enhanced cleaning procedures that they have already been implementing, but they gave me that information just for some peace of mind. But we're really excited. But all of those details are at nasampro.com. So again, become a member, then as a member, you get discounts to our conferences and to other great industry resources. That is fantastic. I'm so excited that our shows are coming back in person, live shows, they're just not online. And so congratulations. I mean, you are just, I mean, definitely if you're an industry professional, you want to join NASA and Pro. Denise is a wealth of information, as you can tell, with just a few minutes that we've been here. And I've learned about rose quartz and the blue calcite, which I had no idea about. And of course, um, you know, how to just, in, just boost your immune system and balance. That's the biggest thing is really balancing. So you're not, I think, you know, again, we could talk a lot about anxiety, especially with the younger generation. That seems to be um, a huge, huge thing. And, and really let's, let's ground ourselves and put the phones down a little bit. And yeah, uh, yeah let's, let's, let's hug and love each other. <laughs> be kind. Let's be kind to each other. You yeah. know, let's show a little bit of grace and patience. You know, we don't know what anyone is dealing with. You know, sometimes when someone cuts us off in the road, there's a little bit of road rage. You know, you don't know what's happening in their life. And I always remind my children that, you know, hey, before you honk that horn or, you know, wave with that one finger, uh, <laughs> you know, show a little bit of grace, show a little bit of patience. Because again, you know, as a family, we've been through hurting times. We know what it is to, you know, maybe be rushing to a hospital or trying to get home for whatever reason. And, you know, maybe the dog isn't well and you got to take it to the vet. But, you know, we, as a humanity, we just need to show each other more kindness. That is so, so true. And I think that's a great place for us to um, finish our, our, our talk today. And Denise, I want to invite you to another pro industry so we could talk about some other juicy things. <laughs> Ooh, absolutely, we love juicy. Yes, absolutely. Yes, well, thank you so much for watching this. If you are just someone that is looking for a new esthetician somewhere, you know, within the United States or internationally, because NASA and Pro is international, I'm sure you can reach out to Denise. She could find someone. If you are in the Central Florida area, come to studiocara.com, check us out. Uh, we, my motto is we make Orlando, the city beautiful. <laughs> and, um, and so, you know, have some fun, have some fun, take a long bath, get some stones in there, throw some Epsom salts, go see your makeup artist, your hairstylist and, and, um, continue to support our industry. I want to thank all of our clients that have been coming through, you know, these tough times and we so appreciate them. And Denise, thank you so much for being, you know, someone that that really stands out in our community for professionals and that you give so much and you unite us as well, which is what we need. So thank you very, very much. And um, hopefully you won't have a, a terrible uh, hot spell that's going through the United States. <laughs> 
Well, you're in Florida, so hot and steamy is going to be around for probably till almost, uh, what, November 1st. So. Yeah, probably. But, <laughs> but it keeps your skin dewy and glowy, so that's okay. So, there we go. You know, but thank you, Car, for letting, or Leslie. <laughs> I'm looking at your makeup line going, I need to have some some new makeup again. I need to order because I'm out of a few things. So, But Leslie, thank you so much. And just for everyone that's listening, you know, live beautiful and be beautiful. Oh, I love that. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you so, so much. And this, this has been really fun, Denise. You're just a wealth of information. So I thank you so much. Anytime. Bye. Denise, I just stopped the live stream. I know that um, there is, we did have a couple people on the line. I don't know if you guys wanted to ask any questions to Denise before we hopped off. I just wanted to give you, um, feel free to put that in the chat. If you did have some questions or you just, I hope you've enjoyed this session as well. And um, Denise, you're just a wealth of information. I, this has been super fun. Thank you. This was and, a lot of fun. Yes. And uh, I'll be sharing the recording with you so you can uh, share this with your audience. And again, anybody that's interested in learning more about Cara Cosmetics, you can go to caracosmetics.com. And um, I will see you hopefully in person very, very soon. That would be wonderful. All right. You have a great day and be blessed. Thank you. Bye. Bye.